Alrighty guys, what's going on? This is the Buck Commander, and uh, in this commentary I'm going to talk about the time that I nearly, uh, I accidentally hit my controller button there, uh, the time that I nearly lost an arm, or the time I nearly got seriously injured, uh, potentially the time I almost died. And this was about, here let me give you a little background information, so we were about 13 at the time, we were just these little middle school scrubs, probably 7th grade scrubs, and um, so I was at my cousin's house, my cousin, I don't know if you guys know him or not, maybe if you play with me, but... Uh, Duck Commander, he, he lives literally in the middle of nowhere, um, or in this case next to a pea farm, or you know, there's a farm with peas on it, uh, which is his closest neighbor about, I don't know, halfway down the road, and the road's pretty, yeah, okay, you get my thing. Uh, he doesn't have a lot of neighbors, but the neighbor he does have has a pea farm, and so we, were, we went to go pick peas, because we were heading up north, and then we're like, yeah, you know, we can munch on these little green, green pea pods, everything's good. Um, so he's like, you know, we'll go take the four-wheelers down there. And uh, you'll go get us a couple pounds of peas. So there's this trailer. He's like, "Oh, we're gonna fill this trailer up." And I'm like, "I don't know. I don't know if it's a good idea." And he's like, "Here, I'll take the back." And he's like, "No, dude, you gotta go in the trailer. You gotta hold all this down." So I'm in the trailer. We're we're riding the four wheeler through through the knifed field. If you guys don't know what a knife field is, it's basically all plowed up, uh, not very even. And that's where the peas, you know, the peas were. It was, it was basically really uneven, like ground, I guess. Um, and so he's like, okay, we'll go take. And if I, if I get off track, I'm watching the Packer game right now. And you know, the thing is, I want to see Adrian Peterson get the, his yards that he needs. I just don't want the Packers to lose. So what I'd like to see is Adrian Peterson gets a 99 yard run. He gets it on the one yard line, fumbles it. Packers get the ball back. Then they repeat the cycle. That'd be nice. That'd be, that'd be my ideal game. Um. So anyway, we need to go get the peas. And there's a trailer. It's just basically your bootleg trailer. There's there's a chair sticking out about two three feet of the trailer. And he's like, no, dude, hop on that, you'll have a fun time, you know, riding through a field. I'm like, well, if anybody knows pea farms, it's probably you, considering you live, like, around them all. I'm like, alright, I'll hit the back of this trailer. And this game is intense, I mean, it, it really is. The Packers better win. I mean, if they don't, uh, you know, I don't want to, well, here's the, I don't want to see the Bears in the playoffs, but I don't want the Packers to lose. I want them to get a, you know, get a bye and play at Lambeau. But, anyway, so the chair's sticking out of the thing. I jump on the chair. And he's like, alright, let's go get the peas. You know, we had all the peas. We're picking them, we're eating them as we go. And then he's like, alright, we're going to take this back to the house, this and that. And he's going about 30 miles an hour on the four-wheeler, which doesn't seem like a lot. But for those of y'all who don't ride four-wheelers a lot, 30 miles an hour is not a bad average speed. Uh, definitely, I mean, if you're going on if you're going, you know, on the road and stuff, you better get going faster than 30. But for an average speed through a plowed field, 30, uh, you know, 30 is a pretty good mile per hour range. And so he's like, all right, we're going to turn around and get back to the house, this and that. Uh, doing hillbilly talk. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm on the trailer, on the seat, about two, three feet off off the trailer itself. We got about two pounds of peas in there. So, uh, And he does this like 90 degree, no, it wouldn't be like 90. He does like a 45 degree turn where it's like basically... I don't know. It's a really short turn, really choppy turn, and he throws me off it. So I'm on I'm on the four wheeler bouncing around, and you know it's it all is bad. Um, I go rolling about probably ten feet from where the four, or from when the trailer was. Trailer's tipped, all bent up. Um, we get back to the house. I seriously had a wash. I had to take a shower basically in the hose because I was all full of mud. And if his parents or whatever would have seen us, dude, we would, we would have been done for it. We, we better start running. Um, so, this gameplay is actually going to end soon. And if it does, it's because these guys rage quit. And, I don't know. Yeah, that's that. So, we're in the garage. We're pounding on this sled. Or, not this sled. This trailer. We're like, come on, come on. Get back together. Get back together. Uh, you know, get back to where the way it looked. His dad walks in. And his dad, generally, we're thinking, you know, he's probably going to yell at us. Uh, he's like, "What are y'all doing?" And we're like, "You know, we're the 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 blah 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 the the blah, the trailer the 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 ditch the ditch the trailer flipped in the ditch." And he's like, "Oh, okay." And then he has his nice blue socks on, his nice black shoes. He's like, "By the way, this is a fashion statement." And I don't know why we didn't get in trouble, but he doesn't know it today, and we don't plan on letting him know. Uh, but anyway, I'll let leave a comment if you guys did enjoy. I'll see you guys later, and tell me the worst injury you potentially could have had, but you didn't. And I'll see you guys.